Hi everyone, today I am going to discuss the books that I read in August. Um, there's not a huge pile of them, but we'll get started. Uh, the first one that I read was The Good Girl by Mary Kubica. Uh, this I originally thought was going to be a story about a stalker, but it is a total different story to what I actually thought it was going to be. Um, I found this one quite difficult to get into every time I sort of I got sort of to enjoying it and then it would change direction and I wasn't really sure I was enjoying it but by the end of it I did quite enjoy it um, but I'm not sure it would be a reread for me. Um, it's The basic storyline is a girl gets kidnapped and she is taken for ransom. Um, she's lured in by a man who pretends that he wants to have a one night stand with her so that he can get her home and then he kidnaps her. Um, she comes from a well-off family who are able to therefore pay it for a ransom and the whole book is sort of centering around um, the the storyline between her t being taken and jumping back to her mother and then jumping to the main detective. Uh, it, it's, it's not what you think it's going to be, that's all I'm going to really say about it because I don't want to spoil it if you want to read it, but um, as you're reading it, there are quite a few sort of plot twists and things in it which keep you keep you reading. Um, but some of the plot twists I didn't really enjoy and um, yeah, so I'm not certain how I really felt about this all in all. But um, yeah, if you're interested in that sort of thing, read up on it and see if you want to give it a go yourself. The next book that I've got is Tortured by Victoria Spry. This one is a true life biography t um, book about a girl who was adopted uh, by the woman who was dubbed Britain's most sadistic mum. She, I've read a lot of true life stories, a lot of um, sort of what I call tragic life stories where people have had really horrible experiences then over always overcome them. Um, but this has to be one of the worst ones where the woman was just awful. So if you're into that sort of thing and reading about how people triumph over really awful beginnings and how people get through the most horrific abuse and things and manage to sort of get their own life back on track, this is definitely a one for you. This is really good. I first heard of Victoria Spry on the Crime Network. I watched a programme about uh, Britain's most sadistic mum and it was awful. It was so scary to think that that actually went on behind closed doors and um, the woman got away with it for quite a long time. Um, she eventually did go to prison, which is good. Um, but I was walking past a, a book a bookend area in Tesco and saw this and recognised the name then I realised who it was so I decided to read the book because on the Crime Network they um, concentrated on all of the children that she'd had so I was interested to read it sort of from one girl's perspective on what happened to, uh, to her uh, and it was a shocking and surprising read but also a one where you're left feeling happy at the end of it because she does come through. So if you're into true life stories and you like to sort of learn about human nature which is one of the reasons I love these sort of books it really sort of lets you see human nature at its worst and also at its most inspiring when people are able to claw their way out of these terrible situations and turn their whole life around so if that's the type of book that you enjoy definitely give this one a go so that's Tortured by Victoria Spry. Next up we've got Insatiable Porn A Love Story by Asa Akira I don't know how to say her name because, funnily enough, I'm not into pornography, but I did read the Jenna Jameson book years ago and it became one of my favourite books ever um, because it, it, it shows you a world that is usually behind closed doors that you don't normally know anything about. And that is one of the reasons that I do really enjoy reading. I like to learn about different people's lives, different cultures, different worlds that are usually hidden behind closed doors and things. So. Um, this popped up in my Amazon recommended list, so I read about it and it seemed interesting, which it was when I read it. It basically goes into um, her life as a porn star, the people that she meets, the world that she was drawn into and um, just the general craziness of it all. Um, 
What I will say is that she doesn't leave a lot to the imagination, so if you're easily shocked or offended and you're not really interested in finding out about people's lives, then this might not be for you. But if you are interested in finding out about worlds that you might not have heard much about or find out sort of the ins and outs behind closed doors, this is definitely a good read for you. So, yeah. And finally, the last book that I've sort of really got through is um, Rosemary Ferguson's Juice Book which I have talked about on my other channel, which if you didn't know, I've got a sort of a beauty and lifestyle channel as well. I have mentioned that on there in my monthly favourites. I've recently bought a Nutribullet and I didn't know which sort of juices to make and I was doing the same sort of thing all the time, just your bog standard fruits and almond milk. But then I saw this, decided to give it a go and there is just absolutely loads of different juices and smoothies and all sorts of things like that in there it's got some lovely lovely illustrations and it it explains what different ingredients are good for and it targets certain areas that you might want to hit upon so if you're feeling tired there's energy boosting drinks there are things for balancing hormones there are juices just for general well-being for gut health all sorts of things like that and it's really very very good so if you're into juices and um, healthy eating things like that give this one a go so there we go those are the books that i have been enjoying this month so thank you for watching Bye bye